Good morning, Yistai. This is Orbis with a few announcements and the words of wisdom. In yearbook news, the 2015 yearbook order is off to the presses. It is due to arrive here at East by June 1st. If you did not purchase the yearbook and would like to, please see Mr. Fitta in D312. A second order can be placed without additional cost, providing 10 books are purchased. To date, we have four pre-ordered for a second shipment. Now from the nurse's office, if you are planning to play a fall sport, please check with the nurse to make sure your physical is current. Be ready for the August for qualifications. Delays will cause missed game practices and participation. Attention juniors who registered for the June 6th SAT exam. There will be a practice exam today after school in the College Prep Center, D141, from 2.15 to 2.30. Attention upward bound students. Tomorrow, there is a mandatory Regents Prep exam for, from 2.15 to 4.15, also in the College Prep Center. Now for your words of wisdom. From time to time, we hear a dramatic, we hear of a dramatic act of courage, like a fireman pulling a young child from a burning house, or a war hero saving the life of a fellow soldier. But most acts of courage don't make the news at night. If you think about it, you probably witness acts of courage every day. For example, doesn't it take a great deal of courage to stand up and do the right thing in the face of negative peer pressure? And what about the courage it takes to keep going in the face of a big challenge? And then there's the courage you must have in order to admit that you're wrong. Now listen to this old American proverb. Few persons have courage enough to own their faults. If that's true, then be one of the few, the exceptional. Today, if you make a mistake, admit it. If you're disrespectful, apologize. Be willing to own up to your faults, and then make up your mind to do better next time. We have the power to change the world, side. Now let's get to work.